as we come to the end of this week, Jesus is speaking to us through the prophet Ezekiel. He has this most bizarre encounter. He's carried into the valley of dry bones. And God explains to him what's going on in verse 11. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. When we think that we have been cut off from the living God, we mistakenly think that all hope is gone. But God is the God of restoration. He's the God of attaching not just bones together, not just tendons, but he's the God of attaching us to himself in relationship. God's wanting to speak into our nation and into our city. And he's saying, there is still hope. If the bones can come together and come to life, then the hope which we thought was cut off from our nation, it's actually being restored. God is turning things around and he's speaking to us words of hope and life and courage. Let's pray. Lord, even as you called Ezekiel to prophesy to the dry bones, we prophesy to South Africa, we prophesy to our city, and we say, you are not cut off. Your hope is not gone. The God of hope is coming to you today. So we declare life, breath in Jesus' name. Come alive, be restored to your calling and your purpose. Hope is yours today. Amen. I want you to be encouraged as you go into this weekend that God is going to show you signs of new life, signs of resurrection, signs of hope being restored. Bless you.